it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the book recommendations tag That's not the way it goes. I have to wait till I get to the other side just to say This is a super quick tag with only four questions so that's pretty good. And this was created by Zariah Rose, so I'll have her links down below. And I was tagged by Julie from Pages and Pen, so thank you so much, Julie, for tagging me. So basically, this is simple. So let's start off with question number one. So starting with number one, recommend the best book that you read in the last month. So I would talk about Misery, but since I've talked about that so much, so much, <laughs> on my channel. I'm not going to talk about it again. So in this video anyways, but I'm going to be talking about Rumble by Alan Hopkins and I'm hoping to do a review on this. It might already be up by the time this video goes up because this is pre-filmed, but I don't know. This is about a boy named Matthew who has lost his brother and so he's dealing with his brother's younger brother's death. He is also dealing with the fact that he's an atheist. He doesn't believe in God. It talks a lot about religion in this book and his girlfriend is very Christian and sometimes their beliefs clash and it's just about that and there's a lot of trigger warnings for depression, suicide, PTSD and I think there's a few more as well but it's just a very serious book but it was done so well and I just loved how raw this was and how emotional this was. It had like a lot of substance, it was so honest and it's probably my second favorite Ellen Hopkins book Impulse being my first, but this was a pleasant surprise for me because I didn't know how much I was going to like this, but I did quite enjoy it. And an old favorite. So for this, I'm going to be talking about Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, and I know everybody talks about Eliza and her monsters, including myself, because it is such a fantastic book. But Made You Up was her debut. It's absolutely incredible. I read this in a day, and I think in 2015, whenever it came out, I read it in the summer. I just sat down and read it for a day, which I don't usually read for over 400 page books in a day. So um, yeah, and I didn't even like intend to do that. And it was just, especially because it was years ago, and I don't think I really did that often. It was just awesome. And basically this book uh, deals with a girl who has schizophrenia and there's this boy that she met when she was younger. This time she believed that he was a hallucination, that he wasn't real. And then she walks into class one day and he's there and she's like, what the hell? I thought I made him up. Made you up. Get it? Um, so that's kind of what this book is about and it deals with mental health in such an important way. I don't want to spoil the ending, but I just really enjoyed this and it was, I thought it was amazing. So yeah. Recommend nonfiction, which I really like this question because I feel like we don't talk about nonfiction as much on booktube, but I'm going to be bringing up Brain on Fire by Susanna K. Halen. I love this book so much. This was, I think, in my top three favorite books of 2015 or 2016, 2016, I think, yeah. And this was just absolutely incredible. Basically, we follow Kahalen, goes through a psychosis, and it's about her break from reality. It's, we follow her as she's in the hospital and how she's feeling, what other people think about this interviews, hospital footage, all that sort of stuff. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I just, I remember when I read this, I was just so happy that she decided to share this story with us because it is so personal and so raw and emotional and like probably one of the hardest things I think anyone could deal with. And I remember tearing up at this book, which if you guys have been here, you know I've never cried from a book, but this one had me tearing up. And I remember reading this, I just have good memories with this, I remember reading this when I was at like a family thingy and I was uncomfortable and I just wasn't feeling up to socializing so I literally just went in this room and I just started reading this and it was just a huge escape for me so I do have a lot of like memories attached to this and just how much I loved it and how much time I spent loving it. <laughs> So yeah, I would highly recommend this. I talk about Hunger by Roxanne Gay all the time, but this is another one of my nonfiction faves. A book that will help people escape. So for this, I thought I would go with more of like a fantasy-esque read. So I'm talk gonna talk about This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. But I ha also haven't talked about this one in a long time, but this is about a boy and a girl, one who's a monster and one who's human. And Kate Harker is considered human, but she it just wants to be ruthless, just like her dad. There's that, and then there's this dude in the story. What's his name? He was a babe, August. Uh, August is technically a monster, but he's 
probably like more human than Kate technically um, emotionally and things like that but this book was just so interesting it's about monsters and humans and it's written just I remember the writing style was so dark and so good and this was my first Victoria Schwab book and I was just so impressed by it and the characters I was a little bit disappointed by book two but for this book I just really really enjoyed it and it doesn't have a romance in it which is really surprising for YA and for YA fantasy well this is more urban fantasy if I remember or no it's along those lines <laughs> um I actually made a book tag for this so long ago so like shout out to you guys if you were here when I made that book tag <laughs> Kayla and I made that book tag because we did a buddy read of this so yeah those are my recommendations for the book recommendations tag. So thank you so much again to Julie for tagging me to do this. And I also am going to have Zariah's links in the description box to tag a list of people. But like I was making a list and then I was like, girl, you gotta stop because this list is just gonna go on forever. So I'm like, you're gonna stop it here. So um, I'm going to be tagging Sajid from Books on My Social Life, Peter from Peter Likes Books, Jesse from Jesse's Shelf, Kayla from Literature Reads, Peyton from Peyton Reads, Olivia from I Love You For Books, and Cam from Wolf Shop Publishing. So if you guys have not done this tag, which I don't think any of you have, or else I probably would have seen it, <laughs> um, then do this tag if you feel like it. It's short. It's like four, it's four questions. You're good. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it because it does mean a lot to me and make sure to follow me on any other social media platforms if you're interested in that including instagram tumblr i don't even use tumblr but whatever <laughs> instagram pictures goodreads twitter i've been loving twitter so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and see you super soon bye